I gotta do one, two, three, four. Music and let's <laughs> yay! Listen, bro, I'm literally about this joy. I'm about having a good time. Yeah. Listen, there's no way that I'm doing this for 365 days. I'm gonna frustrate myself. What up, friend? Welcome back. We are here. Kicks and snares. I just love it when Ishmael sings hallelujah. It's just there's something about his voice and, you know, and gospel. It just gives a Vuleki Lama song, you know? Like a Vuleki Lama song of, it, of the channel. It's day two of um, 365. No, it's day two of 37 MPH 365. So I'm quite excited. I've still got a little bit of energy in my body, feeling a little bit cold. Um, but I'm in the studio. So first thing, apologies for the sound for that uh, for the previous video. I was using this thing here. Um, how do they usually do it? There you go. This is a thing called a D-Link. Now this D-Link um, usually connects to this microphone here to give it more amp, to give it more um, gain. But for some reason. Um, it just has so much noise and unfortunately I sent it back to Tom's and they said they replaced it. I think they gave me the same product. Yay. So apologies for the sound. Um, it was almost impossible for me to try and shoot another video last night. Even now actually, um, I have literally half an hour to shoot this video, edit it and, and, and uh, upload it because um, load shedding. Welcome to South Africa. And I also don't agree with you Akon. Yeah, not all black people are rich and not all white people are poor in South Africa. I'm not sure which South Africa you went to, but the purpose of today's video is to talk about my studio gear. I want to show you guys um, the stuff that I work on, um, the equipment that I use it to make my music. And um, hopefully um, it gives you a little bit of insight into my creative process. I've pretty much designed my studio. Uh, I've built it modular, modular, modular until here we are. And I'm sure I'm still going to keep going. Uh, in the future, I'd love to have uh, either an SSL or a Neve console. That would be really amazing. It's good for the look. And I think I would you know, start doing bandy stuff once I get that. But um, without further ado, let's get into the video and talk about the gear. So as a music composer, music producer and music director, I kind of need to have tools that work for me and give me the product that I need very quickly. So I'm gonna start with what I'm seeing here on, on my left hand side, which is the Yamaha Clavinova. The Yamaha Clavinova, I bought this guy in 2007, I think. Uh, me and Dr. Sipos Tolle had worked on a song for the US Aid, which was a campaign um, to speak about AIDS, we had a song with Zonke, there's quite a lot of artists, many, 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 many artists, I can't remember who exactly, but it was a lot of people. And it was a f my first, like, sizable check. So, and I didn't want to splurge all of it, so I put some away and I bought myself a piano from a lady that I used to go to church with uh, when I was still small. And she wanted to get rid of it because they were not using it. So this thing has stayed with me and it's got MIDI. So Yamaha, Yamaha Clovenova, um, it's, you know, weighted keys, 88, beautiful sound. You can record your ideas on it. Also, it's got a metronome for the times that I don't have electricity. I can still practice on this thing. Um, it's good. I love it. And then next to it is, um, well, on top of the Yamaha Clovenova, I've got the Korg R3, the, the Korg R3 is a synthesizer, um, which has got formant on it, uh, which means that, you know, it's got small samples that um, are saved on the machine, on the board itself. And I've also got custom sounds that I created using the R3, R3 software. And um, nice thing about this little piece, I a little backstory about this little piece, the R3, is that I composed um, most of the music that is on Reason's um, award-winning Audio 3D album. All the sounds are in this box. Um, and there was a time that we actually did a, a tour to LA 
uh, to, to do a show for Skyrim Live with Reason and Akio. Um, and they had another one because I couldn't travel both with the NPC and this thing. So the cork that they gave me on the other side, I had saved the sounds on the flash and I connected the flash to, well, the sounds were on my laptop. I burnt the sounds onto the software that way, you know, when I was dialing the songs, um, the, 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 you know, the sounds would, would, would come up because yeah, it's quite a long, complicated story with the, with the Korg NPC. So basically this thing, how it maps to my studio, it's, uh, it doesn't, it's got MIDI in, it doesn't have MIDI out because um, it's more about playing the sounds that are on it. I don't really use it much as a controller. Sometimes I do um, just to play the sounds if I'm doing like a, a looping video. And then next to it is my is the MacBook Pro, uh, 15 inch. It's the 2016. Um, it's got it's packed with SSD and a super amped RAM. It's really dope. And then the interface that works with it is the the Apollo Twin um, by Universal Audio. Um, it's a solo, so it doesn't have too much capacity, but it's enough for me to. Um, make sure that my mic is, is dope and I've got good sound, it's got four outs. For sometimes I, I would have MD gigs that require four outputs. Uh, I usually take that with me and when I'm traveling, I take that with me because it gives me the right sound that I want and then, you know, microphone quality is also gonna be dope. And then um, I also use the Push, the Ableton Push. I've got the Ableton Push 2. I cannot wait to get my hands on the Ableton Push 3 because that's also, it's amazing, standalone. And then um, and then the main studio computer is the silver box. Um, it's it's the eight core, uh, no, no, it's a 12 core Apple Mac Pro. Uh, bought it in 2010, been here for some time. And it's also got a, a UAD RAM, UAD card in there for all my processing needs. And then the interface that controls it is the RME. Um, RME Fireface 802, which is dope. I love the sound of it. It's very transparent. Um, literally, this microphone is going directly to it uh, with no compression whatsoever. And then underneath it is um, a headphone amp for when I'm vibing with my friends or you know if, if I've got multiple people in the room, which is a very rare occasion. But there was a time in my life um, I used to have too many people around me. And then. Um, Underneath the screens, I've got a small Korg keyboard controller, which I use to, you know, do key switching sometimes, or I'll just need a little bit of an idea because it's right in front of the computer. And then, then the last piece of equipment that I really like is the MPC um, 2500 XL, which I got um, when I was sponsored by Akai. Um, very dope. It's still got all my sounds in there sometimes i'll open it but it's the last piece of equipment i have in my home that has a cd player so sometimes i just open it up just to play cds or play my old samples that i um attach to it and then in terms of speakers i've got the genelex um i think it's the genelex 8250 and they have the glm system i've got five of them um and they're all connected via the, the network um, I like the Genelec system in that they have room correction software. So what do I would do on a on a Monday morning, I would place the microphone in, the, in my listening position and and just run the GLM um, to do calibration, and it will calibrate the EQ for every speaker and, and it will tweak to make sure that the sound is dope. And pretty much that is how my studio is set up. Um, I've got pretty quite a lot of cables. Um, to make sure the sound is, is traveling properly and you know, things are, are getting to where they need to be. But um, in terms of what I need the studio to do, I can write from this, this uh, I can write my music from this piano and I know Ableton is gonna pick it up there. I use Ableton by the way. Uh, and sometimes I mix on Logic, but my, pr my main uh, DAW is Ableton. I love Ableton. Bless you guys at Ableton. I literally use Ableton for everything. I use Ableton for scoring. It's amazing with pictures, it's incredible. You can literally just 
get into any picture you don't have to like cut it in another piece of software i can just drag it into ableton cut a you know a piece of a movie and then that's what i can work on i also use it for for music directing obviously i'll produce all the music as a music producer once i'm done i'll create i've got a custom um ableton template just for live with all my outputs all the output buses set up properly and custom channels to make sure that my sound never jumps out and it's all you know i it, it, it creates like a safe environment for for the live environment so if i need to to switch between um the listening position or listening only for the band in, in case things are happening on stage people are talking they're presenting i can play the music for the band very easily and not worry about it going into front of house then I've also got buses that go into front of house. They, I usually bus them to like five buses, you know, track drums, track bass, uh, track keys, track synthesizers, track vocals, and something else. And then I would have other buses like uh, click, um, cues, uh, vocal cues, and key cues, everything. All, all that stuff would stay in the buses. And, you know, I, I think Ableton gives you 10 buses, 10 output buses that you can use. But um, there's another way that you can do, but that's, I feel like that's another video altogether. So I will wait for another day. I think I said too much. Um, I've been recording for 11 minutes. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm not gonna edit any single thing so you can hear me waffle as much as possible. And then that kind of concludes most of it. Three things that you need to know about this video is that I shoot all the content. The second thing is it's not sponsored by anybody. All this merch is kicks and snares and it will be available on my website www.37mph.com If you made it this far, won't you type in my website in the comment section? Thank you. And the third thing, I think all the music on this video is composed by T-Kid. You can follow T-Kid on Instagram and he's also on Twitter. Uh, Shout out, brother. He's right here. He's watching me. He's watching me. It's weird. Please, you have to show your face. Like, YouTube is unforgiving, bro. Here we go. Say hi, TK. Oh, what's good, everybody? Yeah. It's TK. Yes. Okay, cool. We're vibing. All right, cool. So, that concludes the video. I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. Could you pass my phone? I don't know what the content is tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? Uh, kid got me this phone okay so we have an option between doing a behind the scenes of a music production session which i don't think is going to happen because what i'm currently working on is very nda and the second option is what is my music production process and inspiration i think that's a dope video and i also want to do a video about me playing piano so that's the option for tomorrow and then next week um on wednesday i have a q a so I need for you to send me as many questions as possible. That way I can answer your questions um, and shoot a video before Wednesday. So drop it in the comment section or drop me a DM either on Instagram or Twitter. My Twitter handle is at 37mph and the same thing with Instagram. So go and holler at me there and yeah please share this video with someone else do not forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of content and thank you so much for watching peace Yo. i read somewhere on the internet if you have a problem with me pick up the phone and call me and if you don't have my number, then you don't have the right to have a problem with me. Good night. Was that rough? You, you went quiet, bro, on that.